Touchdown with Erin Masemola on the bench with local legends. Your questions, your heroes. Welcome to the Touchdown with Aaron Masamola. And yes, it is yet another amazing opportunity for us to chat all things sport. But today we are focusing on a different sporting code. Of course, we are building up slowly but surely to the Olympic Games. That is round about 43 days away and everybody in South Africa is incredibly excited. Today we're talking about the sport of hockey. And of course, we have seen that our men's and our women's team have now qualified and will be playing at this year's Olympic Games in Tokyo. Now joining me at this point in time is a phenomenal phenomenal hockey player. Her name is Nicole Erasmus. She's a South African hockey player, but something quite different and something quite special to mention is that she's set to become a fourth generation Olympian as well. Nicole, how are you doing today? I'm very good, thank you. Aaron, how are you? I'm doing very, very well, especially that now we're building up to the Olympic Games. I would love to ask you this. Are you more nervous or excited because the Olympic Games is like the biggest stage in the world? Yeah, it's. I, I still am in a feeling of disbelief. I um, I get like these waves of emotions where like it's happening and I have to pinch myself and then I start getting excited when we're training and then I sort of have to be like, Shucks, it's, it's the Olympic Games. It's the most prestigious sporting event and I'm lucky enough to be able to be going. So it's waves of emotions, but I think I will start getting very, very excited when um, we are on the plane to Japan, um, which is just over a month to go. So I think the next three or four weeks is going to be yeah, just waves of emotions. Definitely. I think what makes this Olympic Games a little bit more special for you is that in 2016, unfortunately, the team qualified but could not go. I mean, just on the 27th of May, when it was announced that the team will be going to the Tokyo Olympic Games, what went through your body in terms of excitement? Because finally, it has happened. Yeah, it was absolutely crazy. I think, you know, we're all very, very grateful that we can go this year. Um, and especially because of last year it being postponed, it was almost um, a bit of, is it going to happen? Are they just going to keep postponing it? Are they going to end up cancelling, um, you know, the Tokyo Olympic Games? But super, super, super excited um, that we have the privilege of going. Um, yeah, and I think both teams, men and women, are ready um, to showcase and show the world what um, we are made of. Definitely. Looking at your journey, now the thing that makes it really, really special for you going to the Olympic Games is the fact that you are now a fourth generation Olympian. Your mom was a swimmer, your great uncle was a rower, and your great great uncle was a hurdler. And you're a hockey player. <laughs> to me, it's absolutely amazing because these are completely different sporting codes. What makes this so special for you? Yeah, it's I think the fact that it's almost, I don't want to call it a tradition um, because I don't want to put that pressure on generations to come. But I think the fact that there are only, you know, three other people in my family that have attended the Olympic Games and I'm lucky to be a part of now the fourth generation to go. And the fact that it's it's in the family and it's just, it's a crazy thing to, it's a crazy concept to grasp because it's, I've always dreamed of this day and the fact that it's now, it's here and it's happening, I think that's why I find it so hard to believe because to be able to talk to my mom about things that she saw the, at the Olympic Games and share, you know, like my excitement and my stories when we get back and to be able to know that, you know, generations before her, there were also other um, family members that also experienced the Olympic Games. It just makes it that much more special in, in my case. Oh, absolutely beautiful. Now, let's talk about some of the challenges. Of course, 2020 and 2021, the words that we can't avoid is COVID-19. And in terms of your processes and your preparations for the Olympic Games, how has COVID-19 made things just a little bit more difficult? Yeah, I think last year it was really um, a spanner in the works when this whole pandemic happened and um, we had to learn to adjust to train inside your tiny apartments instead of out on a big hockey field. Um, but I think we just made do with what we had and um, we were lucky enough to start training and I think it was about August last year and um, we got permission to start training. So 
I think it was actually a blessing in disguise for our team um, because the year extra prep that we could put in has benefited us so, so, so much. So as bad and as hard as the pandemic was, I think it was really a blessing in disguise that we can actually be so grateful for or so positive about because we've had a couple months longer to get fitter, to get stronger, to gel better as a team. So um, we've had to learn to adapt as I think everyone else in the whole world has had to do. Um, but I think, yeah, we're just focusing on the positives and grateful that we can be out on the turf and training today and that in just 43 days, um, you know, our dreams are coming true. Definitely. You talk about those 43 days that now lie ahead to the Olympic Games and the moment where you actually get to live your dream. I would love to know a little bit about the process, like what's next for you? Are you guys possibly having a few more training camps just to make sure that you guys are at peak level for the Olympic Games? Yeah, so um, we've had training camps every second weekend from, I think it was about January. So every second weekend, the entire squad came together to train. Um, and during the week, we've trained in our regions. Um, but starting from, I think it was last week, um, we have now got training weeks. So we train every single day. Um, and then we have training camps over the weekends. So I think we are doing literally as much as we can with, um, with you know, our facilities and our bodies and, you know, what we can do. And um, we were potentially going to have a series against Malaysia and Namibia, as far as I know. Um, but I think with the situation, I don't think it's possible for anyone to either leave their country or enter South Africa or whatever the situation is. So I think it's unfortunate that we don't have any competition, seeing as our competitors are playing in, you know, a Euro League or Euro Cup or, you know, they're playing international games and getting that practice where we're not as fortunate. But, you know, we still just got to stay positive and still, you know, trust the process, trust our coaches and our management and, you know, just focus on ourselves and do what we can. You talk about it being slightly a little bit more challenging, especially given the fact that we can't necessarily play those international competitions. Now, South Africa is currently ranked round about 16th in the world. And of course, we know the big names. I mean, the Netherlands, Argentina and Germany, which will definitely be a threat in terms of taking the gold, the silver and the bronze as well. What can we expect from, from South Africa? Because trust me that we are expecting you as players to possibly lift an Olympic gold medal. All, all I can say is it's not going to be an easy ride. Um, I mean, the Dutch are in our pool um, and they're number one in the world at the moment. So it's not going to be easy, but I can promise you and I think everyone in South Africa can agree that South Africans are fighters from beginning to the end. We will never, ever, ever give up. So every single game is an opportunity for us to showcase our talent and our skills and, you know, just us bonding and gelling as a team. So if that ends up, you know, being a gold medal at the Olympic Games, I'm sure it will, it will exceed anyone's expectations. But um, what we're aiming for is we want to get to top eight. And um, as far as I know, that hasn't happened in the history of South African women's hockey before. So um, that is our goal. If we get there, it'll be absolutely amazing. If we get there and beyond, I mean, that that's incredible. Um, so that is the goal that we're working towards. I mean, it's going to be an incredible tournament. And I think, you know, each day is different. And I guess it's the team that wants it the most on the day that is going to, um, to either win or, yeah, but holding holding my thumbs crossing my fingers that um, it all goes well for us definitely the one thing that you can rest assured about is that we as south africans are fully behind you we will be supporting you every single step of the way and trust me with us we are confident that you guys will do very very well nicole thank you so much for your time and we wish you all the best at the olympic games go out there and live your dream Thank you so much, Aaron. Um, I'm sure we will all play our hearts out and hopefully make you all so, so, so proud. Um, but yeah, thank you for your time today. And yeah, have a good day and week further. Touchdown with Aaron Masimola. On the bench with local legends. OFM Sport, the personalities behind the plays.